Hello, welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. On Monday, November 29, Cyber Monday, a German hobby store called Model Car World did a sale of 25% off on everything. I was notified about that through email on Sunday morning, but I only noticed it uh, Sunday evening, so I might have missed out on a lot of stuff that was sold out by then, probably, but I still managed to grab a few very nice pieces. So let's start with the cheapest stuff and then we go up to uh, the most expensive stuff here. Got uh, a few Norev. This is a Citroën DS19 in blue, white and red. Course Cycliste, that means um, bicycle race. Three and a half euro, 25% off. Plus shipping is 328. So uh, there's 10 euro shipping for the whole uh, lot. Uh, just a fixed amount of shipping. It doesn't get uh, more expensive if you order more stuff. This is uh, clearly from a straight pack because it has the, the name and, and the specifications of the vehicle on the base of the box. 2017 date on it. So plastic base, rubber tires, kind of yeah, hard rubber, there you go. Uh, authentic rims, interestingly we get this style of rims here on all three other wheels and this one has a different style of wheel so I think we have an error here. That's my first Norf error and uh, yeah that's cool to add to the error collection. Got the painted tail lights, the indicators, indicators here on top next to the, uh, the rear window are not painted orange. Got a red roof, Norev name on the side and then the, uh, the logo on the hood or bonnet. Silver painted bumper partially. So yeah, lots of details there. All black interior. Sometimes they do uh, these multicolored interiors, but not on this one. And also got me a Hippie Beetle. VW Beetle 1303, 1973 Peace and Love. This is a newbie. 2020 date on the base. Four and a half euro reduced to four euro and three cents with the shipping included. So kind of a off white, almost pale yellow color. Got the lensed headlights. I did not point that out on the Citroën, but that one also had lensed headlights. But you probably have noticed that. Plastic base, rubber tires, authentic steelies with the dog dishes with the VW logo on it. Painted tail lights, license plate painted black, double exhaust part of the plastic base, bumpers painted silver, and then a pretty basic interior. And we get to a green light. So I was pretty surprised he, uh, for being a German store that he still had uh, so many VWs. This is from Hobby Shop Series 11. The 1976 Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 GTI with race car driver. So this has a 2021 copyright. 6 euro and 95 cents reduced to 5 euro and 87 cents. Here's the other vehicles in that set. So here's the Stig. Usually the um, these racing figures accompany a, uh, a vehicle in a racing livery. This is in a kind of a civilian stock livery 
there's some oil residue on the vehicle that's why I'm wiping it down um, but you know anyways um, they don't come at an extra cost so I don't mind so we got an unpainted metal base serial number is 2897 of course we got rubber tires we got authentic rims so we got the optional double headlights GTI VW logo indicators all painted up and the red stripe of course it's got an opening hood or bonnet I'll have to use my thingy to get in there yes there we go so we get some black accents there painted up well not bad nice interior all black fuel filler cap it's got that star shape it's nice and we got the wider tail lights this is a later model we'll uh, look at the all of the other VW goals I have at the end of the video also grab this Jeep 80th anniversary release 2021 Jeep Gladiator I thought this would look pretty uh, pretty cool also a 2021 copyright same price you can uh, freeze the frame if you want to read that So this is a pretty long vehicle, unpainted metal base again, 1511 is the serial number. Rubber tires, authentic rims. I think this might open up here. The, uh, or maybe not. Looks like it does, but maybe they just have interchangeable hoods on these. I think it's got an opening part anyway that's not important to me so all painted details in the front no lens headlights but very well done nonetheless black roof black painted mirrors Jeep name on the side there nice looking interior through the smudgy windows lensed taillights that's pretty unusual for green light that's a nice touch jeep name embossed in the tailgate of course an all metal bed plastic bumpers front and back That's cool nice version then from all terrain series 12 and I'm going to have to turn it upside down 2018 Nissan Titan XD Pro dash 4x first example I have of this casting just like the uh, gladiator uh, but this has been uh, uh, around for a few years but never uh, saw one that really appealed to me but this one really did same price as the others 2021 copyright also here's the other vehicles in the set extremely long vehicle so pretty sure it's longer than the uh, gladiator oh yeah by quite a lot actually and also much wider wow kind of dwarfs the gladiator that's interesting this is not the fit for European roads I can tell you that all right matte black painted base number 446 
nice beefy tires rubber of course authentic rims what does it say is that a good year I think it's a good year a lot of uh, model designation info on the side here Titan V8 I don't know what it says next to V8 I can't read that and then here in the back Pro 4X got the uh, smoked windows in the back this one also kind of had that but not as dark as uh, as on the Nissan lensed headlights bumper is a uh, kind of a kind of metal gray looks good opening hood maybe nope not no opening part on this one either just black plastic mirrors got some uh, silver painted on the inside and the indicator is there too again very smudgy windows so kind of hard to look inside it's got the trailer hitch got the Nissan logo in the back painted tail lights kind of a gloss paint to make them look like they are lensed but they are not yeah I'm very pleased with this version interestingly the bed the inside of the bed is a lighter blue than uh, this is more purplish this is more just plain blue that's interesting I don't know if that is on purpose or just a little less paint here on the inside of the bed probably why it looks lighter very heavy model too yeah I'm glad I waited uh, this long to get uh, an example of this because this is definitely uh, the nicest I've one nicest one I've seen so far and then we got a VW Club VW release series 13 the Volkswagen type 2 panel van in the Brumus racing livery this has a 2021 copyright also this was a little bit more expensive seven and a half reduced to 628 this is kind of relevant for the rest of this video too we'll see that later on so an unpainted metal base rubber tires gray authentic rims get the Brumus Racing on the back here and then Brumus Porsche on the front door with the Florida address a roof rack on top headlights painted yellow and then we got the taillights painted too kind of look inside there seems to have seats same interior as they use for the uh, window versions the samba ones I guess then we get to Shuko so I got the BMW Izetta 9 euro 95 reduced to 8 euro and 12 cents with the shipping included BMW Izetta Landespolizei kind of a local police I'm guessing very tiny vehicle you get a lot less metal on this one than the other ones but you know I find it hard to resist because it's so cute okay I have to be careful here because these screws are sometimes a real pain to to undo and then you can kind of strip the head of the screw if you're not careful she whiz that's a very long screw there we are finally so take this thing off too okay there we go 
So we got a black painted metal base with all the info on there, even if it's so small, it says 164 BMW Azeta here, and then Shuko there. It's got four wheels, but the back ones uh, have a very narrow axle. We got lensed headlights, even if they're so small. It's a job nicely done, and even the cherry on top is a little lens. You can kind of see it's kind of translucent in the light there. The uh, IZ name with the BMW logo on the front there. This is kind of a, a fridge door, kind of opens to the front, steering wheel attached to it. Only seats two people, and it's got a canvas canvas roof to uh, to open up to turn it into some kind of a well. It's not a convertible, more like a sunroof. In the back, we got uh, the lights and some silver paint. Here's the uh, the engine is behind this uh, grill here on the side. Yeah, very cute. The Mini Cooper, same price. Mini Cooper in uh, brown metallic. Got the uh, sliding roof also that is open on this one. So, black painted base again. Very tiny rubber tires with the, the mini light wheels, alloys. Cut the lens headlights, nicely done grill. Here is very nicely done too. So this is clearly a more modern Mini Cooper. Well, the classic Mini Cooper, but uh, one of the later versions. Got the bigger diameter wheels and uh, bigger tail lights and stuff. So this kind of folded down backwards. So the handle is on the top of the trunk, the boot. The Soft top is a lighter gray than the, the black roof. So that's interesting. That's two tone roof piece. Yeah, also very cute. It's kind of funny to put it next to these uh, giant rigs. Well, not really rigs, trucks, but it's almost a rig, right? If it's that big. Here we got a VW Kafer, VW Kafer, the uh, VW Beetle in uh, green and beige, same price. All the Shuko had the same price, so both the uh, these classic boxes as the new style paper boxes. Well, at least the ones uh, I bought, maybe these, uh, some of these in these boxes were more expensive. I don't remember actually. They often are. There's price differences between these. Don't know why. Maybe the more recent ones cost more. I might have uh, skipped on a few that were more expensive. I don't remember. So black painted base again, as uh, usual, it says VW Kiefer, and then it seems to say 1500. 
So again, rubber tires, authentic rims, dog dish caps, lens headlights, nicely detailed, and lens taillights, very nicely done. Look a bit uh, orange instead of red, a little light color wise. Yeah, if you look at them from the bottom, they are more red, so I think they are possibly two tone. For the indicators and for the stoplights, and uh, yeah, again. Model name there on the back, grill painted here underneath the rear window, and we got a nice light color interior. Dash sits kind of low, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I should compare it with other ones I have. This looks kind of weird, but uh, yeah, nice to have a, a lighter color interior for a change. And then we got the uh, Citroën de chevaux, the uh, 2CV Charleston livery. So I got the uh, the other color, the red, the red one with the black, but the. Uh, I forgot to bring that one out to the parking lot. Well, I've shown it a few times already in several of my videos, so most of you know what it looks like. So this one's got a shiny black base, while the others have more of a matte black base. Yeah, interesting. Rubber tires, authentic rims. Lens the headlights, again nice grill, seems to be a separate piece. Bumpers are part of the base and uh, painted silver. So we got that uh, quirky interior. So Seems to have the uh, lux luxurious seat option. So we got a different color soft top here again, also in grey like the Mini. And lens tail lights also. We got that special shape, they're not square. 2 CV6 Club, it says on the left, and then Citroën on the right. That's a nice detail, I like that. Awesome. And then we get to the paper edition. So these are new for 2021, first time they released these. So this is a Mini Cooper and a kind of a Mr. Bean livery. Not licensed, but it's got uh, the same colors. There's a number on the box, number eight. Got some uh, info here, same price. Mini Cooper in yellow and black. And uh, this kind of caught my eye. Designer Verpackung für Zamla. So a designer packaging for the collector. Interesting. Uh, these are in some kind of a sleeve. That you can uh, looks almost exactly the same except for the uh, information there, the uh, the mumbo jumbo that is not on the actual box and just on the sleeve. Now. Not sure why they decided to start doing this. For environmental reasons, this is pretty interesting because it's only cardboard that's much more easily recyclable than the window boxes that have the petroleum based plastic on there. That's kind of a, yeah, 
maybe not recyclable and maybe has to be burned or incinerated um, but to have the, the regular window boxes together with this uh, I don't know why uh, they do that uh, why they decided to do that um, I think some people would prefer to have them um, release a few more new models than extra recolors of the existing models I think that's a, a criticism I often hear about Shuko not enough variation in the models and uh, with these they only uh, release more different colors I don't mind it you know I'm a, I'm a Shuko fan and I I will collect everything they release if I can find it for an affordable price but I uh, can imagine that everyone is uh, that impressed got a little bit of packaging rubbed by the uh, little piece of uh, paper it was uh, packaged in so I will have to clean that off or at least try to you got a tire that is on crooked but that is easily fixable so of course that's the risk of changing your uh, your packaging is that uh, you get quality issues like this it's kind of stretched this tire so it's kind of hard to get it on there properly so I might have to get it off completely to uh, to try to fix that and this one also has it so that's interesting so yeah we got a whole bunch of tire issues here it seems other side too yeah on all four of them okay um, so we got a slightly shiny base on this one and um, okay um, silver painted mirrors black painted on the on the brown one and headlights again nice grill painted tail lights two fillers on this side same time, same type of rims, the mini lights, and there's a little bit of paint that has rubbed off on this wheel arch too, it seems. So yeah, so far quality-wise, it's quite a disappointment. Mm, not what I expect. You see, these tires they come off by themselves. They're just like I found it. Um, that's yeah. Kind of disappointing. Um, some people will probably pay more than 10 euro for these and uh, when they do that they're going to be really disappointed to find their vehicle in uh, such a state or condition. Um, I think these type of boxes are okay for power grabs, for matchbox, but to package a premium vehicle in, I'm not convinced really. Um, yeah, that's just um, not good enough, you know, for what you pay and what you expect. It's just not good enough, quality-wise. So I'm interested to see what the other ones are going to look like. Oh yeah, so we got to first take the sleeve off. Well, you don't really have to take the sleeve off. You can leave it on there. To open it up it's uh, I took it off just to show, show you the box uh, it's the same uh, pretty much the same it's got the VW licensing uh, thingy there And again, we have some dirt on the roof from the packaging. It's not as bad as the uh, as the mini tires on this one are on are all on, so that's good. Lens headlights, lens taillights. A little bit different detail in the back here. We got some chrome bezels around the taillights, which the green one did not seem to have. No. Uh, that's kind of different yeah it's kind of painted on on the body itself 
interesting but we do not get the uh, the model name like the uh, the green one had so it has the model name on there in the back so some differences here but that's okay and uh, change it up a little also the two-tone is different get the whole side here on the with blue and this just has the the middle part between the arches in the front they seem to get the same details yeah and they both have the light colored interior and this one has the dashboard all the way up to the window so you can clearly see that the other one is kind of an error too so also a quality issue and this one not having the dashboard all the way against the windscreen windshield okay and then the only other one I was able to grab of these paper edition ones is the VW Volkswagen T1 bus wheels are on okay lens headlights painted tail lights no rubbing packaging rubbing on the roof on this one that's nice this one came out good no interior issues either so kind of similar two-tone as this one and they go together very well and uh, the bus is based on the same platform as the Beetle and they have pretty much the same uh, wheelbase which is logic because it's the same uh, chassis and then we get to uh, the two big ones here so I was very pleased to be able to grab these from that store. Um, this is the Ren Transporter, and the Porsche livery. Uh, these are made in Bangladesh, by the way. The other ones are made in China. The cars. I don't know what's that all about, but anyways almost 35 euro reduced to a little less than 27 euro so a little bit of history on these this uh, is a mercedes-benz o317 and these uh, were built by a coach builder named robert schenk um, Okay. interesting packaging here seems to have a little bit more of this tissue paper than uh, the cars that's good might have less damage then so we got a plastic base it has the Schuko name on there and the 164 Rentransporter. These are screwed together so you can take them apart if you want to. Got four rubber tires in the back and then two in the front, obviously. Different uh, rims front and back. It's cool. The uh, body is all metal. So lens headlights, lots of details here in the front. We got a big Porsche logo on top there. Mercedes badge twice. We got one here and then we got one here again. The mirrors are molded into the casting like uh, 
We always are with Shuko, so nothing new there. Material wise, that's pretty okay. Schenk Aufbau, it says it right there, just like I was just uh, saying. Built by uh, coach builder Robert Schenk. What does it say here? Same thing. Yes, Schenk Aufbau. Three uh, roof windows, and then we get the opening doors in the back, which uh, are plastic. Uh, these lens tail lights are just, I think they're plastic pieces that are painted with a um, kind of a shiny paint to make them look like lensed ones. I think they are lensed. Yeah, don't think so. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure because again, we got some packaging rub here. Some red paint has rubbed off because the, uh, as you could see, the back side of the, this back side was not covered in paper in the box, so it rubbed against the cardboard. This one's got it also a little bit, but this one more. And you can see the plastic, the gray plastic peeping through there. So, from what I've seen from other reviews, these doors are pretty hard to open. Let's see, well, not that hard if you have a, a tool like this. So, we can take a look inside. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to put some cars in there at the end of this video. Put them together with some other Porsches, of course. So the doors work very well. I must say, click. Put it all the way in the back here and also got the other one the uh, martini racing livery so same price i um i saw on a website another website that that red one is limited to 500 pieces and it didn't say that about this one so not sure if that is correct or not um, one day I will find out the numbers on these, but it might take a few years. So, same base, same wheels, but painted silver instead of black. And different livery, of course, Martini Racing, Martini International Club. Porsche badge and the Porsche name. A little bit different here. We got this uh, orange on the corners here and some red here where it's silver on the other one. Same on this side. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Sorry. It is exactly the same on this side. Also has the uh, Schenk Aufbau stickers here at the bottom and I guess it opens up the same way there's a little indentation here if you put uh, your utensil in there it opens very easily same on the inside same details here again some rubbing packaging rubbing on the right tail light left tail light not so much Okay, so a little bit info on uh, on these. So they were built to double stack uh, two layers of low slung race cars. So they would have a uh, kind of a lift that, uh, well, probably a ramp that then became horizontal and then lifted up for to the, the second floor to drive the cars in. Unfortunately, these do not come with a ramp. For the money they cost at normal price, they should have a ramp, uh, and um, a lot of other collectors agree on that. Um, only three of these were built. Uh, they were all originally uh, delivered, uh, released in, the, in this livery. 
So the first one was delivered in 1967 and it had the license plate SYZ32. Uh, it was repainted uh, in 1970 um, in golf colors uh, and it uh, remained in those colors till 1972 and then it was sold by Porsche. Um, so for those of you who collect golf stuff uh, you might be uh, seeing one in golf colors in the future. Now as I've mentioned before I don't think Shuko has the golf uh, license but they have released golf colored vehicles before uh, so uh, without mentioning the golf name so I think that's uh, what we might expect to see in the future. Uh, the first one was scrapped somewhere during the 80s and then the second one was delivered in 1968 license plate SC9003 was also in red like I said all three of them were um, but it was repainted later on in several liveries and one of those liveries was this one this one was sold by Porsche in 1983 it still exists today and it is restored wearing a Porsche Golf livery. The third one was delivered in 1969. It had the license plate SM2187, of course also in red. It was repainted in Martini colors amongst other sponsor liveries and also sold in 1983. It is now owned by Brumus Porsche and they restored it to its original factory color scheme. So that one, surprisingly, and not in their uh, Brumos racing livery, which also could have been uh, done, but they decided to go original. So uh, let's see, we can put some Porsches in there. So I selected this one for the red one to go in there, because it got the uh, racing roundels all there on there, the 356. So, Let's see if it fits in here. Yes, of course it does. Just like that. We can uh, drive it in. Let's see. We got the uh, space left, left and right. Straighten it out a little bit. Like that. It's uh, close, but it works. So that's a winner. And then get the martini racing of course uh, shuko does not do the 917 that would have been um one of the vehicles that would have been transported in this uh, in the early uh, early years but uh, they did do a few other martini racing ones is a 911 turbo from 1975 so uh, yeah this is one that we can uh, put in there see if it fits yeah well the uh, rear axle is too wide so it only goes in that far unfortunately that's because these uh, pillars that uh, kind of fixate the top with the base are too wide it's a bummer so I think if they ever make a 917, it's not going to fit in there either, because I think a 917 is pretty wide. But anyways, I can uh, put it like that. You can see his uh, his bum sticking out. There's been a few other Martini releases. Here's the uh, 918 Spider Martini livery number 22. They also did a number 23. Didn't get that one. It's, you know just a different number. We got the VW panel van, the T1, Type 2 T1, the Martini, different Martini livery. And of course also came in the Martini racing livery. So pretty much the same as, uh, as the big Mercedes. O317, the most of those O317 chassis were used to build buses on, but uh, three of them have um, this body. So put that one 
in front of there too. Here's the Brumos Racing one. It's also kind of Porsche racing related. So you can put that there. So they own that uh, original one now. So put it in front of that one. Yeah, let's take the cars out again. For the end shot, the uh, bird's eye view of the parking lot. Close the doors up again. there we go so we have a full parking lot I think that's the first time ever sorry for the shaky camera okay there we go so we got all of the golfs so these three here are green light so green light has two toolings for the golf we got the the one with the narrow tail lights the uh, original version and then they got the uh, the white tail lights for the later models. These are the only stock or civilian livery ones they have done so far. They've done a few racing ones, I didn't get those. So white, red and silver and the black one is, uh, is uh, planned for 2020. And they all have the, um, the double headlight option. So very nice of them to do two different uh, toolings. I think uh, Shuko can learn something from Greenlight when it comes to the amount of toolings they have. And then we got a bunch of Shuko, so silver, black, white, the original red one. Um, this is uh, a Solido, actually a Kyosho casting. And then here's Another green light, not a GTI. The other ones are all GTI. That's my whole Golf GTI collection. Um, this one here, uh, I talked about last week. Put the uh, stick here in front of the his own vehicle. Talked about this last week. I showed a few Shuko Polizei vehicles, and I said uh, green light had this color green wrong. But uh, Ruth Bugers commented. On that video that uh, it seemed uh, correct to him uh, that color green and I looked it up online and it indeed um, I was wrong they changed up the uh, color green and into a lighter green uh, later on so um, green light is actually uh, correct on the on the color so I apologize for that misinformation oh well we don't really have a full parking lot because these spots are empty I am uh, did not notice that at first. Okay, now we got um, the paper edition ones here. And then some more Shuko, a few green light. And then that little tiny thing next to the big ones. Same with the mini, hilarious. And then in the back, we got the. Uh, transporters with their accompanying vehicles so this one actually does not exist anymore today well um, not in this livery but the red one does and uh, the other one is in a golf livery would be interesting to see a Brumos one and a golf one I think some of the sponsorship liveries they won't be able to do because uh, they involved cigarettes. But yeah, we're kind of looking at uh, a raceway parking lot from back in the day, the uh, late 60s and then during the 70s and yeah, somewhere in the 80s too for some of these vehicles. Thanks for watching. Bye.